Ukrainian troops attacked Russian Army's air defense position near the Mospino airport in eastern Donetsk region on Wednesday, a local telegram channel reported. According to the report, the attack was carried out with the use of five Atakms ballistic missiles at around 12.50. The attack inflicted heavy losses on Russian troops. Thus, two S-300, S-400 air defense missile launchers and radar 96L-6E were destroyed. One S-300, S-400 air defense missile launcher was damaged. Ukrainian air defense forces also destroyed the control center of the S-300, S-400 air defense system in the area. There are no casualties among personnel of the Ukrainian defense forces. It should be noted that according to the information provided by the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces, Russia lost 1, 3,000 servicemen in the past day. The Ukrainian army destroyed 11 Russian tanks, 27 armored combat vehicles, 40 artillery systems, one air defense system, one aircraft, 45 UAVs, one cruise missile, 71 vehicles and tankers and four special equipment between May 22 to 23. Russians are storming the positions of the Ukrainian army in rare and old BTR-50s. Russia is using a poorly protected BTR-50 from the 1950s in the war against Ukraine. The 70-year-old armored personnel carrier may not be the worst equipment the Russian army has sent in a direct attack on Ukrainian positions, but it is perhaps the oldest. Forbes writes about this. While it is safer for Russian troops to ride a 70-year-old BTR-50 with 10mm armor than, say, the Chinese golf carts that have been spotted on the front lines many times, the use of these armored personnel carriers is an ominous sign for Russia in its 28th month war against Ukraine. Without mechanized units fully equipped with proper combat vehicles, such as tanks, achieving a quick and decisive breakthrough of the defense will be very difficult. This limitation will likely lead to slower and more limited advances, which will hinder the overall advance of Russian forces, explains the analytical group Frontelligence Insight. It is noted that the BTR-50 is a 15-ton armored personnel carrier that runs on diesel fuel. The crew consists of two people and the armored personnel carrier can carry up to 20 passengers in total with a capacity of up to 20 passengers. It is usually equipped with a heavy machine gun. The Soviet Union developed the BTR-50 back in the early 1950s. It entered service in 1954 and for the next 12 years was the main fighting vehicle of the Soviet Army. The crews of the BTR-50 carried soldiers into battle, covered them during the landing and then supported them with a machine gun. However, even by the standards of the 1960s, the armor of the BTR-50 was thin and this vehicle was also not the best armed. When the heavier and better armed BMP-1 debuted in 1966, thousands of BTR-50s were deployed to second line units. The armored personnel carriers transported artillery, engineering units and anti-aircraft guns until MTLB tractors began to displace the old vehicles from these tasks as well, says the publication. The Russian military made little use of the BTR-50 until about 15 months after the full-scale invasion of Ukraine when the monthly losses of modern armored personnel carriers of the aggressor country exceeded the monthly production of sufficiently modern replacement vehicles. The Kremlin began removing the BTR-50 from open storage in early 2023. It appears that the Russian command initially used these vehicles for rear support and kept them away from the front line. But then, at the end of 2023, BTR-50s began to appear as part of Russian assault groups in eastern Ukraine.